On a gross private area. <laughs> what was it? It was a dragon. How did it fit? <laughs> huh? Well, it fitted okay. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Right, thank you. I'm here with Rick Walters. Hi, Rick. How you doing today? Oh, pretty good. Are you an artist or are you just here for the expo? No, I'm a tattoo artist. Uh, Who do you work for? Uh, right now I'm working at four different shops, but I used to run the oldest tattoo shop in the United States down, down in Long Beach on the Pike, the Burt Grimm's. Okay. And the other three are? Oh, I work at Vintage Tattoo, we put this show on, and also I work at uh, Shamrock Social Club in, in Hollywood, and also at the Tattoo Room in uh, Granada Hills, and I also work with Opie Ortiz at uh, American Beauty in Sunset Beach. Great, great. How long have you been tattooing? Since 1965. Wow, so a real true vet. Yeah, I've been doing it a while. I've taught probably... I would say eh, maybe 10-15% of the people at this show came from me or one of my friends. So what's your story? How did you come about tattooing? Uh, when I was a kid I started messing around with it and then I got good enough to where I started a little shop down in Lawndale back in the 60s. And then I went to work in a shop in Gardena in the 70s. And then I went to work for Bob Shaw and Colonel Todd at the Pike and worked there for years. We closed the place down in uh, 2003. I had a heart attack, so I didn't work for about a year. Yeah, that's all. I'm doing good now. And then I just started setting in at different shops. I'm sort of semi-retired, but now I think I work more than I did when I was working, to be honest with you. <laughs> That's that's several several years doing that. Would you change anything about it or? No, I love doing it. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm one of the few people that gets up in the morning, and sometimes I don't want to go to work, but once I get there, I like doing what I do. You know, so it's cool. Yeah, I, I, it isn't that I don't want to tattoo. It's that I don't want to get up and go anywhere. So, what type of uh, work that you do separates you from the rest of the artists out there? No, I do just about anything, but I'm probably known for real big Oriental or traditional American pieces, you know. Is there any area that you would not tattoo or any type of tattoo that you would refuse to put on a client? Uh, it just depends on the person, you know. If they're heavily tattooed, I don't really think they should get tattooed on their... If they're not heavily tattooed, rather, I don't think they should get tattooed on their neck or face, you know what I mean? But if they're completely covered, you know, what the hell, you know, it's no big deal. It's their face, you know. So I see you have some work done here. Um, I love tattoos myself. Uh, which one's your favorite piece? Oh, I don't know. I'm getting my back done in March. Oh, you are? You're getting your back done tomorrow. What are you going to have put on? March. Oh, in March? What are you going to have done? Uh, it's going to be a big dragon with two or three peony flowers and some water and a big uh, ahonia head. Uh, that's getting drawn up right now. Uh, one of the guys I work with in on Saturday, Robert Atkinson's drawing it, and we're gonna do the outline on March 7th. Okay. What's your favorite part of the body that you like to tattoo? Oh, I don't know, I don't care. <laughs> you don't care, just any tattoo work? It don't matter, you know. Some places are a pain in the ass, like right here, it's real hard to get the skin stretched, you know, but it doesn't matter. And you personally, what's the most painful area of the body on you? getting tattooed? Uh, the most painful place to get tattoos right here in the rib cage. Yeah. Do you watch Miami Ink at all and do you like that show? Yeah, they're good friends of mine. Oh, really? oh yeah, I know all of those people really well. Yeah, most of them don't work in Miami. Really? Yeah, the the, the only one that works in, the, in Miami is Omni and that other, the short guy. But everybody else is from here from Hollywood. Do you think because of that show and the show that you've been involved with also, it's made tattooing more acceptable now? I think it was getting to be more acceptable before in any of those shows, and that's why they were able to put the shows on. You know, it, the, what made it more acceptable was all the bad guys getting tattooed. You know, and now, hell, there's doctors and lawyers and cops. Everybody gets tattooed nowadays, whereas it used to be just the bikers and the sailors, you know, and whatever, you know. Now it's just pretty trendy. Yeah, right. And the, the TV shows, they, they help the people be more aware about tattooing more than anything else. But as far as 
you know, making it more acceptable. It already was more acceptable. There's a lady right across the, the row here that's her husband owns a tattoo shop and she's a college professor in fucking San Diego State. <laughs> you being a vet, obviously, in the game of tattooing and art itself, what is the craziest tattoo that you've ever seen? Oh, there's a guy, I don't know if you know of the band, the Dos Clown. No, no, it's from uh, Long Beach. It's a punk rock band. The, the lead singer for Dos Clown is a guy named AJ. He has a bungee jumper jumping out of his asshole. <laughs> Pretty crazy. <laughs> I'm here with uh, Spanky and Shade. Shade is the tattoo artist and Spanky is the client. Shade, how long have you been tattooing? 14 years old. Okay. Uh, where did you start? In the hood. Okay, so you did your first couple of tattoos on friends? or The homies around the block. And what do you specialize in as an artist? What makes you stand out from other artists? Thing is, you know, it's a neighborhood thing. You see everyday lifestyle. You just bring it down on paper and you draw what you see. It's just another media of art tattooing. Okay. And uh, do you have a lot of tattoos yourself? Of course. You know, get tattooed by the best. You know, just work your way up. Okay. What's the most painful tattoo and where did you get your most painful tattoo? I'd probably say that's on the side of my neck. Okay. And what do you have there? I've got um, some homegrown. So just representing the Chicanos out there, blasting away. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and um, you've been tattooing Spanky for how long? Off and on. You know, a bunch of hours, 20 something hours. hours. That's the longest stretch you've been in the chair? Not straight, off and on. When we get a chance to get together, we're on different sides of the town, so. What was the first tattoo that uh, uh, I got a back piece that he's working on right now. That's a lot of work. How long did it take you to do that? Or how much work have you put in so far? Quite a bit. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> wow. What was the most painful tattoo you've had placed on your body? Um, they all hurt in different ways, I guess. As a tattoo artist, what's the craziest tattoo you've seen? Damn. Mr. Cartoon's West Coast across the mass cheeks. Wow. Would you ever turn down? That's requested a tattoo to be placed somewhere inappropriate, or is there, would you ever say no to a client as far as placing a tattoo in a place? Well, pretty much, I just try to do wherever it would look good. If it doesn't look good in certain areas, I just don't even work with it. Awesome. All right, well, thank you guys very much for your time and enjoy the rest of the show. All right, I appreciate it. Check out spankyloco.com for all my new releases, my DVD, my albums coming out stores everywhere. Pick up my product, myspace.com slash spankyloco. Check out my man, Shady, West Side Style. I'm here with Jose Lopez with Lowrider Tattoo. Jose, how long have you been working for Lowrider Tattoo? Uh, I started working about 14 years ago. Uh, at first, I started at home and um, Things picked up, you know. Now, now we have four shops, uh, three here in California, and one in Japan, and uh, we're we're looking to expand a little more. So, what's your story? How did you get involved with art, and how did you get involved with tattooing? Uh, I mean, uh, I got shot when I was 15 years old, and uh, just being being uh, stressed out, being sad about it, you know. I, I just picked up a pencil and I started drawing. And little by little, uh, without even trying or expecting nothing, uh, things turn out, you know, a good way. And now we're sitting here with you guys doing this interview. <laughs> okay. And as an artist, what do you what what do you specialize in? Uh, I specialize on everything. Pretty much, I, I got my own unique style, so I apply that to anything that people want or ask me for. So pretty much, I do everything. You know, I, I have no. Uh, I, haven't, I, I don't really have anything that I can't do, you know, uh, the harder the, the, the work is, the better for me.